Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Roleplay Skyrim with Anaig and me, Pem. Um, Anaig wakes up this afternoon, 3 p.m., to uh, find herself in quite a pickle here in Markarth. Um, she has, as you'll remember, ended up drunk and passed out on the floor of the... Um, Temple of Dabella here in Markarth, and she trudged her way down here to the Silverblood Inn, bought herself a room, rented a room rather, and um, proceeded to completely crash for the night, for most of the day actually. Unlike my husband Cover, I watch after our guests. Okay, 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 okay. And this is, um, I think, probably the most dire straits that Anaik has found herself in since she um, got into Skyrim. Uh, well, no, that's not true. She's had, to, she's been kidnapped by the Dark Brotherhood after all. Um, but this is this is a close second or third, I think. Let's sit down here and have some uh, you know, lunch, whatever. And I know that lady's gonna come over and bug me about food and drink, whatever. I don't care. Two apples, potato soup, wine. That's good. Customer needs a drink. I don't need a drink. Too Just don't even bother. Can I get up yourself. first? Oh. You're still gonna you bug me. Drink? Yeah. You're still gonna bug me. No thanks. Can I whistle? No, and I'm not in the mood to whistle. She's I terrified. Not terrified, but just really up. angry at herself. Um, yeah, not the worst circumstance she's ever been in, but very, very close. And she's angry at herself because she is the one that's responsible for the circumstance. The other circumstances she's found herself in, she can't really blame herself for. But this one, this is all due to her poor judgment. Um, <clears throat> so, the reason that she feels that she's particularly at risk here is because... Um, Markarth is the city that is, of all the uh, cities in Skyrim, it's the closest to High Rock and to Farron, where she's from. And it's also where she ended up when she ran from the, her kidnappers, the King of Farron's assassins, when she was, you know, when she escaped from them. She ran south and crossed into the border of Skyrim and came to Markarth. This is where she caught the carriage that took her to where she eventually ended up in Falkreath, where we started our Let's Play. So she thinks to herself, like, wow, if um, if somebody did pursue me, they came here, and they probably asked around. Um, so she wants to keep a, you know, she, she doesn't want to be here any longer than she needs to be. At the same time, though, oh yeah, right. Who are these people? Market's room. Eh. We don't go stealing keys off dead bodies if we can help it. Well, we will take your gold, though. We, we could use it. Um, you know, we're going to take your gloves, too. So, she thinks, well, yeah, if somebody was going to come look for me, they would have started here. And she just doesn't want to be here any longer than she needs to be. But... She does want to spend a little bit of time here because she wants to verify that Erendur and Glim didn't come with her. She has no idea how she even got here. She just knows that that Sam character is responsible for it. So even though she doesn't want to be here and she doesn't want to make herself visible, she actually has to check everything out to make sure that Erendur and Glim aren't Anyone around seen or leaving? These strange lights or unusual noises. It's abandoned, and it's always been abandoned. Excuse me, but do you know anything about this house? Seen anyone enter or leave? Absolutely not. Nope. Seems no one in this city has. I'm with the Vigil of Stendar. <gasps> I believe this house might have been used for Daedra worship. Evil rites and so forth. Hmm. No, sorry, I'm I'm not at all familiar with that. Um, Vigilant of Stendar, that, you know, makes Anaig want to help this guy, but at the same time, given that the Vigilant Temple uh, Hall was just destroyed by vampires... Um, she wonders if this guy even knows about that, actually. Um, and the fact that she really, really doesn't want to be in this town. She's just going to back out of this one. So, no, I'm sorry, I don't know anything. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Best of luck, though. Um, who's this guy? Let's just see if he maybe has seen a dark elf around. Bloody enough for you, outsider. So far, yeah. 
Then turn around and go back where you came. City doesn't need you, doesn't want you. Blood and silver are what flows through Markarth. That's the way it is. That's the way it'll stay. Mm. I don't have any further questions. I am uh, totally yeah. in agreement with you, sir. I am ready to get out of here, but I just have to uh, find, see if my friend is here. And Anaig thinks to herself, I think I mentioned this in the last video, but if if Erendur didn't come with her and is still, you know, <laughs> at Dawnstar, like woke up in Dawnstar and was like, where the hell is Anaig? She would be. She she expects that he'll just be completely pissed off and won't ever. If she ever finds him, if she ever sees him again, she suspects that he won't ever follow her ever again. Hello. The treasury house is really just for patrons of the Silverblood family. You don't belong here. Sorry. Um. Have you ever seen? Have you seen a dark elf around here recently? I have records I need to tend to. I I guess not. Okay. Um. No. No. Who are you? No. I'm married to Thonar Silverblood. Keep that in mind while you're speaking. Oh man. Yeah. So I think if, if nothing else, Nig wants to find Erendur just to apologize to him, probably more than anything, and then kind of beg his forgiveness and see if maybe he's not going to be in a house. Maybe he will rejoin her. God, she hopes Glim is here. That would be really sad if she just couldn't find Glim anywhere. That would be terrible. She was just starting to get attached to that horse. Uh, again, you don't want to ask too many questions. It's an orc. What are you looking at? You haven't seen a dark elf anywhere? Well. Guess not. Out of my way, I was Oh, tip to tip. Uh, they're reforming the dawn guard. Yeah, not a moment too soon. I just don't keep. Robin? Hmm. I'm starting to think Erendur probably isn't here. Because if he was here, he probably wouldn't have... Well, I mean, I don't know. If he was good enough to follow her when she was that drunk, and, you know, keep an eye on her and Sam, um... He probably would not have left her on the floor of the Temple of Dibella, but she doesn't know. She's thinking that he's probably still in Dawnstar somewhere, and he probably woke up after four hours of, you know, sleeping and wondered when, where Anaig was to come in and get her sleep, He'd take his turn on the watch, you know, and then probably hiding, just uh, went, was like, ah, screw it's this chick, and went right back up to Nightcaller Temple. First, you take away towers. Now you're keeping us from seeing our honored dead? You and the Jarl will answer for any desecration of my ancestors' bodies. That's enough, Thongvor. We're done. <laughs> Thongvor agrees. We are done. You're right. Fancy robes. You a wizard or something? Ugh. When I'm not hung over. Okay. Ugh. Markarth. Yeah, Nike's heard about this city. She couldn't really remember anything last night because she, she was so out of her brain, you know. Thalmor. Thalmor. Excuse me. You have the honor of addressing a member of the Thalmor. Yeah. <laughs> Until next time. Thalmor. High elves. Great mages. Nike has some respect for them in that regard, but. You to approach the Jarl of Markarth. I am a poor, pathetic woman who is the author of her own worst problems. Um, traveler, and I have questions. Very well. You may approach the mournful throne, but watch your words. Keep your eyes open for Forceborn when you're on the roads. Nyg knows who this is. He doesn't know her, but she knows who he is. Hail! Speak to Igmin, son of Orofdia, Jarl of Markarth. Um, eh, I'm not gonna tell him about that. I would want. I was wondering if maybe you knew. Uh, have you seen? Has, have you or any of your citizens seen? Have you heard a report of a dark elf wandering around town since, say, last night or so? 
If you'll excuse me, I have a city to run. Oh, Nike's got not getting any help. Hello. I'm Igman's uncle, as well as his steward. Hmm. Keep it in the family, huh? Um. Dark Elf? I have letters to read. Oh, man. You, um. House Carl, I presume? That's his house Carl. Mm -hmm. Igman's security is my chief concern. Have you seen a Dark Elf? Until next time. Oh, my God. Nobody's. Helping poor Anaig. The Thalmor aren't going to be any help, that's for sure. That looks like a big imposing door we probably shouldn't be in. Cook. You guys haven't seen a. uh. Dunmer by any chance? Mm. I have meals to cook for the entire castle. Almost no. Good grief. Okay, um. I mean. Gotta find. She'd like to find some kind of like positive or negative, you know, that he's here or that he's not. Here. I mean, I don't. You can't prove a negative, I guess. It's very difficult to. Who's this? Hello. What are you doing here? The excavation site is closed. I don't need any more workers. I'm guards. not interested in the excavation. Um, I was looking for some help. I told you I'm not hiring any more guards. Why do you people always bother me when I'm trying to finish my research? Okay, okay, okay. You idiot! Do you even know who I am? The most recognized scholar on the Dwemer in all of Tamriel. And you people keep bothering me. I... I'm sorry, I... I got too excited. I understand. I'm in the middle of some very stressful work. I'm a little stressed out too, I, I can relate. Yet. How can I help you? Have you seen a dark elf around um, anywhere? What? Oh, goodbye. Oh, good grief. I have things to study. Just let me take a look. Can I? Yeah. Can I sell you anything? Amulet of Stendar. Anikes had a little bit of a crisis of faith after seeing the vigilant hall burned down and, and all the vigilants slain by vampires. As I think I mentioned when she saw that, she was kind of thinking, like, what the... Why would, why would Stendar let this happen? But still, she's not going to turn her back on the Aedra that has been her best patron to this point. She, she, she wants to think to herself that there must have been a reason, and she reminds herself, too, that, you know, vampires are children of Molag Bal, right? And Molag Bal is a pretty powerful Daedra, so maybe it's not that Stendar let it happen. Maybe it's that he, he couldn't help help it. You know, like, maybe he couldn't stop it. So, she's not going to turn her back on somebody that has been so helpful to her to this point. Notice, uh, notice robes of alteration. I'm wearing those, aren't I? Why doesn't it show that I'm wearing them? Apprentice robes of alter uh, restoration. Oh, okay. Yeah, I could sell those. I think I was maybe going to save them and give them to Erendur, but we don't know when we're going to see him next. And the novice hood I could sell. Oof. Hmm. I'll sell that. I'll keep the hood. Um. Uh, I think that's it. What do you What do you have? You've got spells, I bet. I, w I wonder if I could actually afford any of them, though. Probably not. On touch. Hmm. No. Frost Atronach, still way too expensive. Courage. Fast healing. We haven't yet had a successful combat with um, using the Phantom Image, so we're not going to get any other ones just yet that have to do with Phantom Image. We're, we're going to try to make that a, you know make it work first, figure out how it works. Uh, I've done it with another character, and I've gotten it to, to be pretty adequate, but I just, so far, Nyx has not had any luck with it. Um, scapegoat. This, I think, actually would be pretty useful. Right now, even. Like, I'm thinking back to the fight with the wolves and the bear. I think that, I suspect that they were all probably a lower level than Nyx, and if she would have hit one of them with it, they would have all ganged up on it, and then she could have hit another one with it, and they could have, you know, that might have actually been really useful. I'm assuming that they were all a lower level. 
We don't have a lot of money though, and we don't know how much we're gonna need to get the hell out of here. And we do need some food. You know what? We should just play it cool right now. Scapegoat is an interesting spell, but we're gonna play it cool and just. Yes, yes, I have a lot of research. I don't think I have anything to disenchant, but let me just check. Uncle Calselmo. What is it, nephew? Can't you see I'm trying to think here? I don't have time to I listen to your conversation. To you needed okay, so we struck no, out in the nothing, nothing. Jarl's palace. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, as I was saying, Anai does know something about Markarth, she just couldn't remember it last night, but she knows that Markarth was built by the dwarves, the Dwemer, and she knows that the Nords have moved in, and she knows the history of the Reach, and the Reachmen, and the Forsworn, and she knows about Hrolf Deer, I think is um, current Jarl's father, and she knows about the bear of Markarth, Ulfric's, um, you know, kind of, not really a coup, but almost like a, like a, a massacre slash rebellion, sort of. Um, she knows the whole story because um, the king of Farron kept himself very much abreast of the situations in the Reach because the Reach men, as you know, I'm sure, are force. Uh, they are forsworn, but they are uh, Breton. And oh, it's getting late. Across the ruins. Um, and since they're Breton. The High King of Farron is actually, he was anyway, very much um, pro Reachmen. Um, took a, he, he, was, he was in favor of the Reach being granted independence from Skyrim and becoming its own province of the Empire. He was, interestingly enough, uh, also in favor of Orsinium receiving the same. Not that that affects Skyrim at all, but. Um, so, he was a very tolerant, very. Um, open-minded person. He, th Oh my god, you are incredibly unattractive. Um, hello there. The Hag's Cure is here for all your discreet needs. Do you, uh, well, let's see what you got for sale first. Take a look. Um, can I sell you? Oh, I'm gonna sell you the Danger Heart. I forgot to sell those earlier. And we leveled up! Woo! We'll have to check. You gotta remember to check and see if the um, invisibility. I'm just gonna sell the invisibility. I never use it. Um, gotta check if we get two perks with our level up this time because we are at five. Five levels. Okay. Magic. Oh my god, I could I could go broke on magic here. Um, six. I don't know if I've seen a six. Wow. That's really about it. So, maybe I'll just buy these four. I'd say that's good. Seven points over four, so that's not that. Yeah. I make my own that are better, frankly. But we do have a long trip ahead of us, and um, we don't know how much we're going to have to go through. Uh, have you seen a dark elf around town by any chance? Now you let me know if you need a cure. It's like nobody's even listening to her. Hmm. Poor Anig. All right, so let's level up, and then we'll continue our exploration here. Okay, I'm gonna take health because commenters have actually been saying you need to take health, so I figure it's about time. Health. That's good. Okay. So, very quickly then. Here's what I'm thinking about doing. This one's useful, but not as useful as I think this one is. Impact. I do dual cast a lot, so that would that would be pretty useful. Um, restoration, I could take an apprentice, but I don't really use any apprentice spells, nor do I have an in intent to use any anytime soon. Conjuration, again, Mystic Binding would be useful, but I don't use my sword all that often. Summoner would be useful. I do use the uh, my Flame Atronach Rouge, if you remember the name. Uh, Illusion... This one would be useful if I could get Phantom Image to work pretty well. What was this one? I forget. Mind Dweller. Nah, it's not that useful. I mean, it would be for Fury and Fear, I guess, but... Alchemy would be very useful. This one right here. Yeah, 
Yes. Actually, I think I, I think I'm gonna take that. I could do another speech craft, but that's not critical at the moment. At some point, I want to do get into Wayfair a little bit, especially since Frostfall killed me. You know, so that that's definitely gonna need to be something I do. And somewhere along the line, I'm gonna want to take a sneak, get into sneak because I want this. All spells you cast from any school of magic are silent to others. And I want this. Sneak attacks with spells now do 2.5 times as much damage. Now obviously my sneak has to go way up. So I don't know if I'll ever even get there, but probably not. But those do look really attractive, and those are in the back of my mind for perks to take some time. So um, really, I could do enchanting, but I don't need to. Really, it's between... I can't take another mage armor yet, I'm pretty sure. I think I checked that. 50, yeah, so we got a ways to go there. Really, it's between Destruction Impact, um, Conjuration, the Summoner one, or Alchemy, this one. Oh, see, yeah, perks to increase. I only got one. Fooey. Hmm. I wonder if I should console command and give myself a second one. Because Skyree changes it, you know, they give, they add so many perks to the trees that they, you know, they almost have to give you two every five levels, because otherwise you'll never use all the, you never get to all these perks. You just, you never level up enough times. Um, especially since Anaig is a very magic-focused character, she won't be leveling up most of these other skills, like armor, marksmanship, weaponry, that kind of thing. Those won't get leveled up enough for her to, for her to level up as a character, which means we won't get perks too often. So I think I... I mean, I won't do it right now, but I might, in between videos or something, console command myself a few, you know, an extra perk for 15 and maybe an extra perk for 10, go back to 10, because I could really use them. I don't know. It feels, seems kind of like cheating, but at the same time, Skyree, I know Skyree is supposed to give you two, so something's bugging out that it's not giving me two every five levels. I don't know. Well, anyway, let's take this one. This is what we really, really could use. Yes, it is. And I can't do it again until 45, but I could add another 20% with Benefactor, so that's cool. 